Global temperatures and sea levels are rising. Low-lying coastal cities are already experiencing devastating floods and working to come up with creative solutions to combat rising tides. Some cities are sinking due to increasing sea levels slowly encroaching on their coasts, while others are sinking because of excessive groundwater pumping. If things don't change soon the world will look much different in the not too distant future. Are you ready? It's time to enter the Zen Zone and discover the top 10 cities destined to be underwater in the near future. At number 10. Miami, Florida. Environmental author Jeff Goodall previously told Business Insider that there's virtually no scenario under which you can imagine existing at the end of the century and referred to it as the poster child for a major city in big trouble. Scientists believe that if the oceans and atmosphere continue to warm, Sea levels along the Florida coast is likely to rise 1 to 4 feet in the next century. Rising sea levels, submerges wetlands and dry land, erodes beaches and exacerbates coastal flooding. Miami's sea levels are rising at faster rates than in most areas of the world, resulting in contaminated drinking water, floods, and major damage to homes, businesses and roads. The city may soon have to raise its structures to stay safely above water. At number 9. Rotterdam, the Netherlands. According to the New York Times, 90% of the city of Rotterdam is below sea level. As ocean levels rise, the risk of flooding increases. Like Bangkok's Chilolencorn University Centenary Park, the Dutch have built water parks that double as reservoirs for the swelling water levels in a project called Room for the River, as well as enormous storm surge barriers. At number 8. New Orleans, Louisiana. Parts of New Orleans are sinking at a rate of 2 inches per year and could be underwater by the end of the 21st century, according to a 2016 NASA study. Both human and environmental factors are to blame for New Orleans sinking land. Before people settled in the area, the Mississippi River routinely deposited sediment along the coast. Some parts of New Orleans are already 15 feet below sea level, and its location on a river delta increases its exposure to sea level rise, massive flooding and another major catastrophe like Hurricane Katrina. At number 7. Bangkok, Thailand. Bangkok, located only 0.5 to 2 meters above sea level, is sinking at a rate of 2 to 3 centimeters each year. It is predicted that a large part of the capital city will be underwater by 2030, 2050, or the conservative estimate of the beginning of the 22nd century. To help prevent flooding, especially during Thailand's summer rainy season, an architecture firm built an 11-acre park that can hold up to 1 million gallons of rainwater called Chilolongkorn University Centenary Park. At number 6. Virginia Beach, Virginia. Virginia Beach is currently 10 feet below sea level and has one of the fastest rates of sea level rising on the east coast, when you factor in both rising water levels and sinking land. Within 100 years, Assuming sea level keeps rising as predicted, the current location of Virginia Beach will be completely underwater and the shoreline will have moved west. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration estimates that Virginia Beach could experience up to nearly 12 feet of sea level rise by the year 2100. At number 5. Venice, Italy. Venice is sinking at a rate of almost a tenth of an inch every year. Italy began building a flood barrier consisting of 78 gates across its three inlets in 2003. It's known as Moes. The barrier was supposed to be completed in 2011, but will likely not be ready until 2022. When a series of storms hit Venice in 2018, the $6.5 billion project was still incomplete. The flooding was the worst the city had seen in over a decade. Sadly, the city of Venice's future does not look pretty. 
Many experts say that the city could be completely underwater in less than 100 years. This is because the Mediterranean Sea is projected to rise over 4 feet by then, due to greenhouse gases raising the temperature of the Earth's atmosphere and melting of the world's ice caps. At number 4. Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bangladesh, also known as ground zero for climate change, produces 3% of the emissions that contribute to the world's greenhouse gas effect. Riverbank erosion in Bangladesh displaces 50,000 to 200,000 people every year. The country is now facing some of the biggest consequences of rising sea levels, according to the New York Times. Oceans could potentially flood almost 17% of Bangladesh's land mass and displace up to 18 million of its citizens by the year 2050. At number 3. Houston, Texas. Parts of Houston are sinking at a rate of 2 inches per year due to excessive groundwater pumping. The more Houston sinks, the more vulnerable it becomes to increasingly frequent disasters such as Hurricane Harvey, which damaged nearly 135,000 homes and displaced around 30,000 people. At number 2. Lagos, Nigeria. Residents of Nigeria are used to the yearly floods that engulf the coastal city during the months of March to November. In mid-July 2021, however, the major business district of Lagos Island experienced one of its worst floods in recent years. A 2012 study from the University of Plymouth found that a sea level rise of 3 to 9 feet would have a catastrophic effect on the human activities in these regions. Lagos is the home to more than 24 million people. As Lagos' low coastline on Nigeria's Atlantic coast continues to erode, and sea levels caused by global warming continue to rise. Scientists suggest it remains in constant danger of flooding and may become completely uninhabitable by the end of this century if sea levels continue to rise at its current annual rate due to climate change. At number 1. Jakarta, Indonesia. Jakarta is sinking up to 6.7 inches per year due to excessive groundwater pumping which creates a change in pressure and volume that causes the land to sink. Much of the city could be underwater by 2050. The Indonesian government recently approved a plan to move the capital 100 miles away from its current location on the island of Java in order to protect its 10 million residents from more flooding. The move would take about 10 years and cost $33 billion. These are our top 10 picks. What do you think? Did we miss any of your favorites? Any top 10 list you'd like to see? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoy this kind of content do me a favor and like the video hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay tuned for our latest videos. It really helps us spread the zen and grow the channel. If you like what we do here at Top 10 Zen, or you like cool clothing and gear, you should check out top10zen.store on a regular basis, to see what new stuff just dropped. We have really awesome gear, shirts, hats and all kinds of cool items to grab for yourself or to give as a gift. We have an amazing lineup of merch inspired by the power of Zen so check it all out at top10zen.store. You'll be helping out our channel directly while also earning major Zen points. Thanks for watching. See you soon.